All right, so we are moving on to turn four now. Uh, my mana is pretty darn low, just noticing that, so that's going to stand in the way of uh, summoning additional units, lost souls for scouting after this Whispers of the Fallen is up, but Whispers is definitely a priority, and uh, hopefully we can... Let's see, we're doing Builder's Hall, so I'm probably going to have to do reanimators as soon as they're ready here. Uh, but in the meantime, I could probably sneak in a shrine, and that will be helpful uh, with this. And as far as uh, there's a man. Uh, all right, this is ready to cast. I'll probably do that at the start, even if I want the ability to cast. Uh, I think I need. For the battles I have, I'll be earning uh, the wisdom, the, the knowledge production off of it. So well, it looks like it's going to be a short turn here. I wonder if it's down here and if I'm missing anything. It's tempting to have, but I think I need to go this way to see. Oh, okay, cave entrance. Interesting. Okay, and stuff back here. Very interesting. So we'll have to check. So I guess a hero leveled up in the interim. Uh, level 2. I think we're saving still so that we can get essential stuff. Uh, Blood Moon is still active. So we're making our way this way. I think although these guys moving slow... Uh, I could just send maybe the flyer out here through the it's extra vision too. Let's see. So to at least be able to get to here. Uh, and so I'll just have to take that into account. So probably okay. Alright, so yeah, I don't know. I might be going down there, I might be coming through this way. I'm not really sure. Join his buddies here because we're headed there. Alright, this guy, not much to do through the mountains. Maybe I can catch a little vision here in a second, or maybe I want to send this way. I'm not sure. Now with this guy. Okay, meeting someone new. Oh, will he die? He'll. Let's see. I think. I don't think he'll make it. Decaying loses eight. Yeah, so he'll barely miss out on that, which is too bad. It would have been nice to meet. And that guy's done with movement. This other guy here. Yeah. It's looking like so it does oh there is no passage so hopefully i don't know okay is that a can't really tell it is a city okay so maybe there's a way to come through here not really sure be a bit awkward if i'm chasing all the way into this corner i'm a little hesitant to go underground as well but at some point i do have to start sending uh, some units back uh, to defend that structure. Some lost souls once I get the mana up, but we're at now negative 6 out of 21, so I'm going to have to be really mindful of that. Um, but that's it for turn 24. So moving on. And so, uh, ideally, good turns, you're doing at least three battles per turn uh, to have a good return on investment and be doing enough active stuff that you're leveling up quickly and strengthening because we've got seven other AI opponents we need to be facing. Uh, so it's important for us to level up. And there's a lot of mountains up in this region here. It's pretty, pretty notable how many mountains we're dealing with. Uh, yeah, but the the density here of sites is excellent. I mean, this is look great. There's probably some good settling places, and I'm 
I'm not as skilled with the pumping out settlers and the balancing of that. I really like what Hilliodan does. Uh, okay, so we ended up. So I guess we met these folks earlier. So a razor bow. I don't know that we're going to get there in time. Probably going to decline that because I don't know that we're going to get an army out there in time, especially since I'm going to be coming here. Did produce the hall. All right, so I think this is going to be pretty for sure, and that will finish right before reanimators are done. It grew a little bit. This wasn't cleared, unfortunately, since I went north, but it's just how it goes. Okay, so it did, it didn't, we didn't meet, so do we want to sign peace treaty or not? What did we do with uh, these folks here? So we're at war with them, and our alignment is negative 25. I'm a little strapped for cash, so I'm hesitant to do this, but um, I think it probably at 85 is pretty cheap, so I'm going to do that. Uh, yes, we were doing additional exploration. Okay, I didn't catch any stuff here. This will be a tough decision in terms of do I head this way or do I head down here, but by the time I think I need to make that decision well let's see maybe i will start to okay a pretty solid mountain structure so i may i don't know i have to have make a choice about going underground or heading back this way to do this stuff not quite do with that but at any rate some beef a lot of, a lot of ranged and some pretty powerful Units here, so this will be, I think, pretty challenging. Um, see how it goes. Yeah, only probable victory, so we're going to have to be smart with our units here. And thankfully, we do have full casting points. We're going to want to separate them out. Um, in terms of who we kill first, I'm not sure. I'm going to err on this side. I, this is a little. Let's see what's our fire resistance because we're undead. Okay, so it's out. out. That's eight percent fire protection, um, light weakness, fire protection. So we've got some good fire protection versus that. So I'm less worried. So we're interested in killing this guy early, and there's some good cover here. But basically, we want to take out this guy, ideally with a bunch of range. And have this guy charge in, take care of him, and then deal with the Dwarven Firstborn, which is a very high defense. But let's start shifting over to the right. Okay, so we can bring these over here. Alright, so open up that third damage channel. Uh, make sure nobody's in range, so I don't know if he'll attack. We'll figure out. Do I want to split these troops? It is tempting to do. It's really tempting to do. I may want to try and pull that off, though I really do appreciate being able to have the ghoul flyer uh, on the front lines dealing with the assault. So I'm not sure if I want to split or not, but it probably is the sensible thing to do, I guess. So okay, I'm going to take it this way and we'll start moseying these guys down here oh okay that's too bad so we were close enough to trigger but hopefully at least okay so we at least grabbed two though i will soon be able to be outflanked here but let's see okay so over here and then he will nail me off but okay how can we Deal with this. He will go really far. So, do we either do a bunch of range attacks or do we retreat back to here? We may want to retreat back. Um, I'm not sure. How far can this? There's a lot of blockage here. So, if we're out of this range, they won't be able to do anything. Um, okay. So, if we get here. And this guy could kind of... 
Interesting, interesting. So what do we want to do about this? Who can we put in the way of this? Because these guys will be on the way. Hmm. Yeah, I'm wondering if I want to put this here together and take the brunt of this assault. I'm not, I'm not sure if I want to do that or not. Okay, that's a pretty significant amount of damage. I do the like the like the out of range sufficiently to make this work, so I'm tempted to do that. Pretty minim minimal damage there. Nine and ten, nine and nine. This is really not ideal, but I think I'm probably going to end up striking twice and this guy. Or let's see, what would this? This would be a single strike, but that extra damage channel doesn't do much. But it will protect against fire. Yeah, two to three versus. You know, it's not not significant. Well, yeah, I think I think we do need to try this. I think we do need to try. This. All right. So as expected, so he can't get around, but he could get here to flank. We're gonna put him in the way of that. I think. What am I? What am I I'm missing here. So these guys will have to out of the way. So I'm thinking I'm going to put him here. That's what I need to be thinking about. I need to be thinking about flanking. Um, so he's going to come around. I hate to engage both at the same time. I'm going to have to be thinking about that. So, okay, so that's one attack. And so they could get hits in. Which would be a lot of hits. So I don't I don't like so maximum of twenty-four damage plus twenty-six damage uh is getting close to max health there, in fact. So I almost want to encourage this guy to charge here to take some of that assault. Uh, but I'm not sure if I can do that. So I go here, he may go for this, but he's probably going to go for the charge. But he's going to have a little bit of defense, so I'm not sure how that will balance out. Other thing, trying to move these guys over. Uh, I think I do, do I want a more tempting target over here? I don't think so. I think I'm just going to get them as close as I can over here. So this is not optimal at all. Um, I might, I might be thinking about Siphon Life, actually, uh, instead of auto-attacking, because that may help with healing this character when he gets gone on. So, let's see what are they going to do? As expected. Okay, so they did spread it out a little bit, so it's a little bit better for my hero, uh, but it also does mean... And this is good. It's good that these folks are spread out. So these guys with and then can go after these folks. So remember to be out of range. That is more than enough space. So I can definitely move up here. Yeah, about the same. So I can perhaps. Um, so I am probably going to want to flank damage. Ooh, so I really... That's uh, it's a beefy, beefy character. Yeah, he's not doing much damage at all. Not doing much damage at all. I wonder if I can remove the movement points for them. Or maybe even stiffen the limbs and just have run backwards. I'm not sure. He's going to take a significant amount of damage, though. He does that. So I'm really not sure how I want to handle this here. Um, and in terms of being out of range, he's in range of everything here. So I guess I'm just going to go here to tempt him to engage here. Yeah, this is difficult. Okay. And he is facing this way. Now, I think I do want to turn him around. Now, I can't do that this. I'm not sure that I can do it with this. All right, it does. It does. It did turn him around. Okay, so that gives me some uh, 
instance, and he may end up obliterating that hatchling or that draconian flamers, for example. But uh, they're both turned around. So how far can he go? So he will well, he'll he'll one shot anybody he wants to one shot. So I really wonder about stiffen limbs on him. So I may want to end up doing that, moving him out of the way efficiently, uh, and then stiffening limbs. So I think I think we'll do that. Um, I'm not quite sure how far of a distance I want to take him. Uh, it would be nice to tempt him into doing this guy. How much did he do? 26. That's close enough. So let's see. Uh, stiffen limbs. So, okay. Now, did that turn him again? Yes, that was a mistake on my part. So I needed to move my other hero out before that happened. So that is unfortunate. And he is going to... He won't kill either of them. Yeah, that is really unfortunate. So I'm going to... So, yeah, I'm going to have to take some serious damage uh, because the casting of the spell turned him around, unfortunately. And here, I can do two attacks... I don't want to sacrifice him. Let's see, so he's out of range. So there's nine damage. So I'm gonna try and move him out of the way and then kill that with a ranged attack. This is gonna be... Yeah, okay. So how far? I need to be what? One more and then hopefully my range I mean how much is my range? That's that's pretty healthy, although I'm gonna be behind obstructions. Okay, three 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 nine. Alright, good enough, right? So able to so he it's really interesting that he had one more radius but now it's reduced let's see 12 and 12 yeah it reduces the uh the shield too that's pretty good okay we'll be attacking here he can't reach anybody hopefully we'll be able to do some good stuff like this maybe we can continue to yeah, we might want to continue to kite this guy. Um, we'll be able to kite him the rest of the rounds so that we can kill folks, hopefully. So how are we going to best do this? So fire versus fire. And that's pretty good. So I'm going to tempt him into here and I want to turn him. I think I can turn him here with this as well. The fire protection on this. Not as much, but still pretty decent. Um, now, do I want him to be able to move farther, or do I want to turn him around? What is more valuable? So, first of all, it needs to be at least here. Under what? 80%. So, at least, at least one more. What does this do to him? One to two? Yeah, no problem. Uh, it does, so he can go in and charge. Maybe we'll do about 18 damage if we go in with the charge. He doesn't have any fire protection, so I'm hoping he will prioritize the flanking. I'm not sure. Let's see. Uh, more. Okay, yeah, 19. So I'm... I think I want to do this charge now, so I can get a, a flank here, I think. Okay. So again, 11, we might be able to polish him off again. Range, 9 to 13, so it really, it really depends, huh? Um, let's see, so if I'm up here, I'm flanking, yeah. Okay. Good. All right, so he'll be able to not kill either of them. He won't want to target here because he'll do damage. Now we just got to kite. Uh, and ideally, we can get some heals off and uh, get. Uh, it'd, be, it'd be a good time to get this guy up, though he is going to obliterate him. So I think maybe prioritizing heals sound. Now, if he moves down here, he's going to effectively. 
block us off. I think I need escape route, so I'm going to move here. Now I could take this off of him and steal it for the uh, fire, for the extra experience, but I think I'm going to wait on that. Instead, I think I will heal here. And again, he'll move here and we're going to have to kite this way. I think I'm going to maybe up here and tempt him this way. Although I do need to be raising or else. All right, so we've got one here and one over there. Oh, and one here as well. And he can reach that. So that's interesting. So we might, we might do that. Okay. So everybody's accounted for. All right. Let's see what this guy does and this guy does. Oh, the melee. Don't think about that. Okay. So this guy can get here. We're going to have to turn around, fortunately. We can do that with this. So that's done. So now this guy can get out of the way. All right. And are we going to finish him off? Are we going to make cheese some experience? So he's completely immune to fire. Does a little bit of damage. Um, no damage. So we may... Yeah, be cheesing experience. I'll be able to run away. Same with this. I'll keep moving up this way, I think. Uh, so again, his range is here, here, we'll go here, and oh yes, he also has this. But I, I may want to use that to re-raise the same corpse on that for a bit. Okay. Now this guy will get one hit off. So it would have been a little bit better if I could do this. Hey, how about that? And uh, good experience. Okay. So stiffen limbs continues. Now we can just uh, harass from a distance the rest of the time. This is why stiffened limbs can be so darn handy for this. I can cheese a lot of experience here, I think, too. 93. Right. No, that's great. That's great. So we're at 102 out of 150. Uh, move here. I think we'll just keep cheesing experience. We're not going to have him run into folks quite yet. Who else can we heal? I want to heal the fire. I burned my hand. This guy has to heal, I think. Maybe. Okay, yes, in terms of people who can do damage, it's this, 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 the physical on that, this, this. So I'm going to have to do some kiting. Okay, no problem. No problem. Okay, who has the heal? He has the heal, so we'll take some spam this heal while we can. How are we doing? 68. Okay, just get everybody to hang out. Just have him keep following that around here, I think. Okay, so where can he reach? He can can't pass through there. It's okay. Yes. Do this. Can't reach anybody else. This is all fine. Oh yeah, I mean the stiffened limbs, especially with a slower unit like this, it just really, really cheeses it out. All right, we've got to move back. He's got a little bit, a little bit more there. I'm whittling him down. We're slowly whittling him down. 108. Okay, so it's not giving much additional experience for 74 for these attacks we're doing. Yeah, it's uh, stop giving 
experience. At some point, it won't let you do that too much. Um, well, let's see. We're getting we're getting closer. I don't think I want to have any units get hurt. Although I could I could go in. So who do I want to have the experience? Okay, so who's gonna do the final blow? Probably Probably my hero, probably, I would think. And, uh, let's see, there's no... I just have to be careful that there's no first strike on their part, but this will be enough to do it. Uh, I can cheese at this point. Uh, this. That is done, and I can cheese... So again, just to make sure, that should be enough. I'll even add a charge for flare. There we go. That was quite the involved battle, and I uh, took some bruise. Melee strength, armor piercing could be useful. Herbing and Seaman's not that useful. I almost want the gold more. But the melee damage and the armor, you never know when that plus three could be useful. So I will take it. All right, so we got our lesser reanimate undead, and it's good that we saved points because then we can do steal and throw curse, which is uh, are useful for us. We got two of those. Okay, these guys can freeze us, so we'll have to be careful about potentially getting one-shotted. Um, but we do have frost weakness too and low resistance, so we just hope they do not charge us in fight. So anything else? So that that looks okay. So we will here. And we'll just hope that a hero. First round. Okay, good. So, the ranged unit, ranged unit, we can take out one ranged unit. So, we'll probably go this way and do a similar thing. So, here and here. That. Um. Um, and we will do some significant damage given our fire on these nice characters. What is it, 40% weakness? Percent fire weakness. Yeah, that's going to be a lot for our fire units. So we're coming over here, and I can throw this as well, which is great. Uh, keep this guy back, I think. First, I'm just slowed. I could split if I wanted to. Didn't think about that. Though I would hate for Icecaper to freeze my Draconian Flyer, for example. And I have to deal with that mess. One of the nice things about the Draconian Flamer is that he can outrange. So that might be a way I will want to start a battle. I'm not quite sure. I'm still to be keeping this guy. Round four, so we gotta get the party started soon. Up. Oh. Okay, so see, I already made a mistake. I needed to keep my girl back. Because if he was frozen, he could have been in serious trouble. So I do think I want to engage this guy, keep this guy out of range, or I go here because he can reach it. So I kill this guy. And allow this guy to come here. Okay, first things first, I need to obliterate him. Make sure. So, who do I want to have here in range? I think the flyer here is a. Can be reached by this guy, but can be reached here and should do okay. Now we just need to stay out of range of these folks and uh, be able to. Oh, yeah. 
super easy. Now, okay, that was poor on my part because you can read them there. I didn't count for it because he poor. So do I want to put some in the way? In the defense, nine defense. So I may, I don't want to put horses in the way. Um, he can take a little bit of a beating, I think. I will leave him in place. Uh, so he'll be attacking, attacking here. So I need to be able to flank. Oh, yes, indeed. I may want to raise cadaver, though they will be pretty busy with that. Um, I wonder. I wonder. I just think I will let that happen. Uh, I wonder if I could... She's not, and it wouldn't be over here. But, okay, so I think I will move him here so that we can do flanking. Um, maybe I will slow him down. That might be the thing to do here. So, and he is slowed, so these guys are okay. So this guy will run and obliterate him pretty easily. So he's super slowed take this opportunity to do a little bit of damage either that or heal I could kill him but I think I should be able to later so let's see okay I think I did that math right okay so flanking 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 Oh, very interesting. I always find that anything. Goodness. Okay. So he has full movement. So we are going to ob obliterate this guy. This guy will do some damage, but I'm not this guy I'm most worried about. So he would do... I think I'll let him charge this guy. Back here. Obliterate this guy. And then allow him to charge in there. I think that's what we'll do. I have to this guy back. Can I keep him back even farther? Yes, I think I'll do that. Um, so I gotta get him behind enemy lines. I think I'll move here. Now do I wanna kill or do I wanna raise cadaver? I think I wanna raise cadaver just to put some I think Yeah. Because then they will have to, and this guy will have to think about this. Now I could Move him behind. I'm really tough. And he will be out of the way. So I think I am going to do that, actually. Um, we'll be charging that guy. Now he might go this way and attack her, which is fine. Um, but I think here, some serious damage. And then I think this will take care of it. All right. All right, everybody's. You know, so he can attack him, but hopefully. Daver. I don't want to move him any closer. Although if I move this, you'd have to move around several times, and I wouldn't do that at all. So I'm going to do this. If he really wants to do the damage, he's going to take some This guy is fine once again. Um, out of range to do anything useful. And I do remember that I can lesser reanimate on dead. With this. So any of these guys that die, not a problem. This guy is level 3. That would be a problem. Um, but everybody else is cool. Okay, so how do we want to... So I definitely want to... Do want to raise another cadaver. Uh, who do I want to give it? I want to heal this guy. Yet yeah, keep him out of the way. So he'll be safe either way this way. Easy damage. Go here. He's still out of the way. Heal. Uh, let's see. I want to bring him here, but keep him out of the way, so that's good. Uh, still in range here, so I'm going to do some cheese damage there. I think maybe want him to do that. Yep. Yep, that would be great. Might even have him steal this, so he's still out of range. Am I going to save my heal? Am I going to throw my curse? I think I will throw my curse. 
going to be able to run into that guy. I am going to steal. I think that's all the cheese thing I want to do. Okay, so who can he attack? I think I'll pull guy here. And I'm going to allow him to take the hit. So, Alright, everybody's out of the way except for the Danver, and that looks good. So I can still go up here and exploit despair. When I take exploit despair, when I wonder if that's native to the IL. It might be how much damage. I, am I going to do retaliation? I do wonder. I'm not sure. Okay, I could take them out if I wanted to, but I really do. I think I will. So I'm gonna I wanna this. I wanna move up eight to thirteen probably will kill it. If not, I have other folks who have options. Um so I will probably give it to the hatchling, which is fine. Okay. How are we doing on recording time? Okay, so we're 36 minutes in, so long time. Uh, it takes careful planning to do those battles, but now I have to decide if I want to go this way or come this way, unfortunately. I am not yet ready for that. I know for certain. I really wish I knew if it was... It looks like there's a camp there that would be worth taking out, and then maybe come. I come around this way. I think... I think I have that. I'm just really hesitant unless I see something really juicy. The Wizard's Tower would be a little too tough. I could do that. Uh, it's, it's not incredibly juicy at level 3. Again, let's re the undead, steal, throw, curse, so that I can raise. I think I am going to head down this way, though. Do I want to do that lost library? So, units. So, is it worth it to go that direction, or am I going to send... Eventually, it is a lot of movement points. Uh, it is a lot of movement points, so I think I'm going to value... I'm going to be sending something later. Um, and I do have... I do have several skeletons, and once I get some reanimators, I could send this force. I'm a little hesitant, too, because I'd rather be able to do high-level sites. Okay, and we're going to lose mana, and I'm worried about it. it does mean we need to disband. That's a lot of skeletons, huh? Uh, it does mean we need to disband some stuff. Um... I'm not going to use all of these. How many of these would I realistically use? Am I going to split them into two stacks? Probably not more than two. Um, probably just not ready to support more than two cadavers. But as long as I'm under there, it's okay. So yeah, I think we'll keep it at that. And I, I'm not comfortable starting to channel... Yeah. Okay. So, uh, that's the end of turn five. I will see you next turn for turn six.